So amidst the talks of e slowdown and a global recession, the International Monetary Fund, remember last week, praised India for its economic growth and structural reforms. In fact, uh, the IMF praise comes at a time when growth forecasts are being cut. The rupee has weakened against the dollar. The question is, is the Indian economy now slowing down or is the Indian economy actually far better off in comparison to other emerging markets? What really is the situation? That's what we're going to ask special guests in a moment. But take a look at just why this story is so important. India, a fast-growing economy. India, a bright spot. India will leave a mark on the world. The Middle East. This is how the International Monetary Fund heaped praise on India, this even as the world stares at the threat of COVID. recession. Uh, in many countries, India deserves to be called a bright spot on this uh, otherwise darker horizon uh, because uh, it has uh, been a, a fast-growing economy even during these uh, difficult times. But most importantly, this growth is underpinned by structural reforms. Hailing India's digital economy, IMF's managing director gave huge credit of country's success to digitization. This is not the first time the IMF has lauded India's initiatives. On October 13, IMF commended India's direct cash transfer scheme and described it as a logistical marvel, considering the sheer size of the country. IMF's praise comes at a time when the rupee is hitting new lows against the dollar almost every single day. Rupee, which had recovered historic lows hit a week ago, depreciated by 11 paise to close at 82.30 against the US dollar on Monday. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman says the rupee is faring better against other currencies and there is nothing to worry. If I look at the case of India, um it is actually quite impressive, in fact, uh, just because of the sheer size of the country. It's, it's a logistical marvel how uh, these programs that uh, seek to help uh, people who are at low income levels, there, there's a lot of technological innovation. Uh, in, in the case of India, one thing that is striking is the use of the unique identification system, the Aadhaar. I'm not talking technicalities, but it is a matter of fact that India's rupee probably has withstood this uh, dollar, um, you know, rates going up, the exchange rate in favor of dollar strengthening is there. And I think Indian rupee has performed much better than many other emerging market currencies. Rupee is not coming, dollar is coming. As I said before, कि सर्दी नहीं बढ़ रही है लोगों की उम्र बढ़ गई है वो सह नहीं पा रहे और इसलिए वित्त मंत्री को इस तरह के बयान देने से बचना चाहिए लेकिन लहसुन प्याज वो खाती नहीं है रुपया जो है वो कमजोर हो नहीं रहा है बेरोजगार है नहीं फ्री फंड का खाना मिल रहा है महंगाई कहीं दिखती नहीं है while IMF has hailed India's economic achievements, it had sharply cut growth forecast for 2022 to 2023 to 6.8% as compared to 7.4% estimated earlier in July. So why is the IMF praising India at the moment? Joining me now is Anne-Marie Geith-Wold. She is the Deputy Director of Asia and Pacific Department at IMF. Ma'am, when the IMF Director General suggested last week India the bright light in a dark horizon as the world heads towards a possible recession, why do you believe, why is the IMF saying what about India stands out for you? Because there is a slowdown that's taking place in the Indian economy as well. Thank you for this question. India is indeed growing still very fast. We forecast 6.8% uh, growth, percent growth this year and 6.1% uh, of growth uh, next year. So it is growing much faster than other emerging market and developing countries. Uh, this said, uh, India's growth has been downgraded from what we had in April of this year when we still forecast 74 uh, 
percent of growth. So this, uh, so so we see India still as a as a one of the growth drivers of the region, but India is also subject to headwind like uh, like other countries in, in the region, maybe not quite as much so given India's very big domestic very big domestic market. And given that India has already taken some uh, very uh, important steps, policy steps with the with the with fiscal uh, budget that is appropriately um, focused on, uh, on on capital expenditures and some monetary tightening. So let me summarize that uh, India is doing relatively better than other emerging markets and developing countries. And that's why we, we see it as a bright spot at the horizon right now. So India doing much better than other emerging market economies, as you're saying. But the fact is, ma'am, that you have already trimmed India's growth by about 60 basis points from your July projections from 7.4% now to 6.8%, the steepest cut for any major economy barring the US. Are you saying that therefore it's only the relative aspect of the Indian economy that gives you hope that India at the moment shines out compared to others because you are cutting India's growth rate as well? That is one way of, of putting it. Uh, so. So India is, in, we indeed have uh, downgraded it by about 60 basis points, as you said, and this is mainly uh, as a result of the external headwinds that uh, India is facing with the rapid financial tightening in, in global markets and the increase in commodity prices as a result of the, um, of the Ukraine war. But domestic policies have reacted in India and uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, compared to other emerging markets, India is doing relatively better and there is some catch up growth from from the time of, of, of COVID. So, so, so yes, it is, uh, it's a relative assessment, but at the absolute level, it's also still a, a significant growth rate. One final question, ma'am. The two concerns here in India at the moment that we have a rupee that's falling uh, as compared to the dollar. I know the finance minister says the rupee, it's the dollar that's strengthening, but the rupee is falling and inflation also proving to be a little bit more resilient than we might have imagined. Should we be worried looking ahead? Do you believe that there are certain headwinds that India could face uh, like the rest of the world, particularly uh, given what's been happening in Ukraine? Well, I mean, the headwinds uh, in, that India is facing uh, are faced by, by, by emerging markets and even advanced countries globally. We have actually reduced the inflation forecast slightly for India uh, from what we had in, uh, in our April forecast. And that reflects that India has already gone through several rounds of monetary, appropriate monetary tightening. We see that there is a need for further monetary policy action. Uh, it's important that this monetary policy action be appropriately uh, calibrated and uh, and adequately communicated. Um, so should we should we be worried? I, I think the authorities have understood. Hmm? Right, my guest there joining me from Washington. I appreciate you, Deputy Director at the International Monetary Fund, setting up our talking point. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.